Hi everybody, it's day 17 of 31 days to radically changing your prayer life. Today we're going to be talking about praying as one standing in the gap. You know, Ezekiel 22, 30 says that God looked for a man to stand in the gap for a nation, but he found none. That should not be the testimony of the living church today. We should be people who stand in the gap for our nation. Behind me you see the, uh, the uh, election placards and the people trying to get people to vote for different things, because today is election day. And we want you to know that it's important as believers that we, that we operate in two realms. We operate in the spirit realm and in the natural realm. And God wants to find people who will stand in the gap for their nation so that he can bless it, so that he can pour his abundance of mercy and grace upon it. And we, it comes because Christians are standing in the gap. Oswald Chambers once said that this people who stand in the gap is that type of intercession that gives Satan the most problems. And we want to give Satan fits. We want him to run around and going, oh no, there's another one praying. There's another one standing in the gap. What am I going to do? Because when they stand in the gap, it releases God's hand to bless and to bring abundance on a people. So today, when you get in your prayer closet, take the time to understand how important it is for you to stand in the gap for your nation so that when the Word of God says where God looks for a man to stand in the gap, it won't be the testimony he could find none. He'll say, I found a people, I found a remnant who would stand in the gap for their nation. Thus, I will bless that nation. Join us tomorrow for day 18, and until then, pray standing in the gap.